everybody. Uh, welcome to another video from moi, uh, David over at Digital's Mind. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to clean up your wireless network. Uh, I don't care where you are, uh, at home, work, on the road, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a really cool little utility uh, that I have up on my screen right now called uh, Wireless NetView. Now, Wireless NetView uh, comes down as two different uh, types of packages. It comes down as an executable, which installs, uh, or a zip file. Now, I recommend the zip file uh, because as they upgrade uh, the package, uh, which is, if you scroll down here, you're going to find the, all of them in different languages too. Um, you're able to actually download the latest package and then just basically copy over what you already have on your system. You don't have to go through the reinstallation again. So if you want to follow along with this, I'm not going to wait, but you know, because that's like boring. Uh, but go ahead and download the, um, uh, the file here. And I, I do want to give you a word of caution here though. You can't execute this file uh, off of your desktop. Um, you're not going to get full privileges. So what you want to do is, wh I, probably what I do is, and I'll show you real quick right here, I actually have um, a folder that I call uh, Quad Zero, which is off of my desktop. Uh, and then I put it under Utilities uh, Wireless NetView, and I have a bunch of utilities that run underneath there. And then if you unzip it, it looks just like you see on my screen. And then all you do to execute it is just simply double click it, and the program starts up. Now, when it first starts up, uh, it's going to start to do a scan, and uh, you'll probably see some more routers uh, added in as I'm talking. Uh, what it actually is doing here is it's listening and looking for all of the wireless uh, systems uh, that are around me in my neighborhood. Now, I work from home, uh, and I don't live in a very condensed um, uh, neighborhood. I don't live like in you know New York or something like that where there's just tons and tons of people on top of each other, um, where I believe this will help you if you do live in a, in a more uh, you know condensed um, uh, area, uh, New York City, Chicago, LA, wherever you are, um, or even in a neighborhood that has, you know, lots of homes in it. I mean, it's just one of those things that everybody nowadays has a wireless router. But in order for you to um, uh, kind of alleviate what we call traffic congestion, uh, which is just like, you know, just, like, just like it sounds, I mean, you get on a freeway and too many cars, everything gets congested and backed up. Well, wireless routers are the same way, as is almost any network. The more people that are on the network, the more people that are on the same channel as you when it comes to wireless, the more collisions and, and, and the more you have to kind of fight through that to get to your router. Now, a lot of people think, well, you know, Dave, it's, you know, it's in my house, you know, I'm not outside or anything like that. Well, what people don't understand is wireless networks broadcast, uh, today's wireless networks, uh, you can get these things up to several hundred yards, I if not more. Um, I know I can walk pretty much, I'd say probably three, four hundred yards down the street and I can still get one or two bars off of my, my wireless. Now, my wireless happens to be by my upstairs window, so I have a really good, uh, you know, it has a really good path to me. Uh, but, but still, they, they're very powerful these days. Now, the, the trick to cleaning everything up here is actually going to be over in the router. And I'm going to show you mine. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to match to yours. I do use an Asus router. Um, and, and, but, but I'll show you, you know, what I'm talking about here. So I have two... Uh, wireless networks in my house. I have Asus 2 and Asus 5. Asus 2 is uh, named that way because that's my 2.4 gigahertz and then Asus 5 is my 5 gigahertz. Now as you can see the detection rate's 100 percent. It's just sitting right here. The wireless uh, that I have connected to my desktop PC uh, is a Netgear 6200. It's one of their latest and greatest uh, and it really uh, just just to give them a little bit of a, of a, of a you know prop here uh, the, the cool thing about this particular one is it comes with a little docking kit. So you can USB it into the back of your system and then you can just pop the wireless router right into the docking kit and it works great. If you need it on the road, you pop it out of the um, uh, of the dock, you kind of fold the USB back, put it in your pocket or you know whatever and take it with you and you can plug it into your laptop and you know off you go. But to clean up any sort of wireless traffic, think like a car. If you're on a freeway and that traffic is packed, you try and find an alternate route. Well, wireless does the same thing. So on this particular one, uh, for my two, I'm going to scroll over to the right and I'm, I'm going to show you guys really what this, why I really like this program a lot. Not only do you get a ton of information, which of course you do, uh, but you also get the channel number that you're operating on. Now, the channel number is the channel that you're talking on. So, you know, as you can see here, there's a bunch of people on channel one talking. Uh, you have only one person on channel two. You got one on four. You have several on six. You have number seven, which is me, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not in this. Nine, that's pretty good. And then of course eleven, uh, which is probably your higher end bandwidth. And then number forty-eight, which is mine. Now, routers are a little bit different 
mine does allow me to set it up at the higher range um, but my lower one doesn't uh, when I first brought the wireless up I was having we were having all kinds of problems in the house I said oh man I gotta go I, I know what I forgot to do I forgot to change the channel so I came upstairs fired this up found an open channel which happened to be seven no one in my neighborhood is running channel seven so I changed over my router which I'm going to show you in a second to channel seven so I'm gonna bring up my little router here that I already have open whoops on this page right here and this is my uh, my uh, ASUS router now this this thing is uh, is amazing it's very expensive uh, but for the kind of work that I do and for the amount of bandwidth and video and everything else that streams to the house it's an absolute necessity I mean I just almost giggle at people that go to the store and go oh look a little forty dollar router this will work perfect no it won't <laughs> I'm telling you right now it won't especially if you got a gamer in the house with an Xbox or a PS3 and mobile phones and tablets and everything else in that house all of it connecting at the same time that little thing is not gonna make it anyway uh, underneath my wireless settings uh, and within your router too I'm willing to bet um, and it, it depends, like I said, it all depends upon the router. Uh, but most routers allow you to change the channel. And right here, mine is set to channel 7. And if you see the drop down here, I can actually choose different channels. But 7 is actually the open channel for me right now. I'm not interfering with anybody else, and that's the one that I, I, you know, I set the channel to. Now, my 5 gigahertz one is a little bit different. The 5 gigahertz one is set to auto. And the reason I left it on auto was because I went back to my program here and I looked and nobody else is operating on channel 48 so I'm like okay well I'm cool why would I change that channel 48 is open I'm gonna take it so that's actually one of the main reasons why uh, I didn't actually manually set that channel um, and you can do this at work too so if you're a systems administrator uh, if you know, within the building I'm sure like every little office and everybody else has a wireless running just run a real quick check run around to your routers if you have to you can remotely log into them of course and change the channels you can actually broadcast them on different channels now the one caveat you have with that is that some of the older wireless units may not be able to see that channel um, there you know if it's really old it may only operate on seven or eight channels you may not even be able to get it up to channel 48 to see it so you got to make sure that you know you have relatively new stuff in there and if you're running and you're probably fine I mean if everyone's talking on your end you're probably running fine but just as, so you know you can just change the channel on there now go back to my router here after you change the channel you have to reboot you know you click the reboot button mine takes about 60 seconds to reboot and after that boom it all just starts to talk again and nothing drops off meaning that you know the end channel still talks because you have the SSID and you have the correct password it will still talk over that so I don't have any trouble with my iPads or my Android phones or my iPhones or anything like that they all just sim simply work so that that's it. That that that's really the trick. Just try that right now and see if if, if that doesn't help you out. Um, you also might get better range too. Remember, the more clear your channel, the longer the range is going to be because it's not getting that collision traffic. It's not getting that interference. Um, and, and and see if that doesn't help you out. Okay. Well, great. That's that, that's you know end of this wireless tip. We'll talk more about routers and stuff down the road because um, there, there are there's some cool stuff you can do with it. Uh, with the routers um, that, that I do to, to help manage my traffic and stuff much better. So, but today we're just going to talk about the wireless and uh, give it a shot. See if it uh, see if it doesn't help you out. Okay, great. Have a good time. Bye.